is another one of my uh, plumber meets electrician kind of builds. First piece I want to show you is this uh, faucet supply tube. It's a 3 8 diameter. I took a 5 16 I think they're called fender washers. It's an uh, inch and a quarter OD. I drilled it out to half inch so it would fit over this portion of the supply tube. It fits inside the inch and a quarter ABS. Two pieces of inch and a quarter ABS pipe. One is four inches long. The other is an uh, inch and three eighths. Two inch and a quarter ABS end caps. I've got a female BNC connector in the end of one. The other one is drilled 3 8 plus a 64th clearance for this to be able to slide in good. Don't rip apart your smoke detector to be able to yank one of those out. You can get a bag of these for about three bucks with the leads already soldered, which is really tricky to do. This is half inch pipe insulation foam, one piece two inches long, one piece four inches long. A 5 16 carriage bolt, I don't know, it's about an inch and a half long, whatever you got. It's going to end up being the tip, the contact tip for the stethoscope. I've extended the leads of the piezo with some 24 gauge silicone wire. There's a 104 ceramic capacitor in this bill. 0.1 microfarad. The probe will have internal AC coupling. I remember to feed the, the wiring through the ABS pipe and the foam insulation. Capacitor is soldered to the center pin of the BNC of course. When the um, piezo is going to be placed on here, it's going to be this side up, like that. When you buy your ABS coupling, make sure that the center dividing lip that's inside here is a larger diameter than 35 millimeter of the piezo. If it's not, then file that um, so that it is larger than the piezo. When we assemble everything together here, and there's no glue required on this, it just friction fit everywhere. We make sure that the capacitor and everything here will clear inside the hole of that foam. And everything is pressed in tight here. And the foam, it's two inches. It's going to be sticking out a little bit past this ABS pipe. You press it in with your fingers, it's going to rebound. It's better to push it back in with our fingers now and, and have it rebound than put all the force on the piezo to accomplish it. Um, there's some care that's required in all this here um, so that we don't uh, put excessive pressure on the piezo and damage it. It can take quite a bit because it's going to be sandwiched between two pieces of foam, but um, it's still a little tricky. And uh, here's the supply tube assembly. We've got that uh, 5 16 washer that was drilled half inch up against the flange here. A four inch piece of foam. And the end cap that's been drilled so that this can slide. So this is a, a very sensitive instrument. Um, it's also delicate. So uh, avoid excessive pressure on the piezo. I've epoxied that 5 16 uh, carriage bolt to the end of the uh, tube and that completes the project.